Right now, we are in the final moments of our countdown to the second launch of the day at the Cape. Look at it. SpaceX is sending up South Korea's first ever mission to the moon. You are looking live at Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Let's listen in. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And lift off. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Power carrying the KPLO payload to a ballistic lunar transfer orbit. So we are beginning to throttle down the engines on the first stage to prepare for a period known as Max-Q. During this period, the vehicle is going to experience the highest amount of aerodynamic stresses vehicle on the vehicle. Max Q. And there was Max Q. So the engines are coming back up to full power. Uh, we have three events coming up in quick succession in about a minute. Uh, first up is MECO, that stands for Main Engine Cutoff, followed by Stage Separation, and then SES-1, which stands for Second Engine Start-1. Main Engine Cutoff is where the first and second stages, oh, excuse me, engine chill Main started. Engine Cutoff is where the nine engines on the first stage will shut off in preparation for stage separation. That is where the first and second stages will separate from one another. The first stage will make its way back to our drone ship to attempt its sixth landing. And the second stage will continue with SES-1, which is where the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will start up and continue to propel our KPLO satellite to its desired orbit. Those events are coming up in about 10 seconds. For now, we are enjoying some excellent, excellent views of Falcon 9 during its ascent phase. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. It just never gets old, does it? A beautiful <laughs> launch from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station by SpaceX, sending up South Korea's first ever mission to the moon. So ULA and SpaceX have pulled off a rare double header in one day at the Cape. Two launches about 12 hours apart. The next question, of course, can SpaceX stick the landing? We'll have an update when News 6 at 7 continues.